today <clears throat> we will discuss this 30 years old female patient who presented with uh, alternate exotropia and we performed cover tests in detail in previous two videos and now i will discuss here her as a separate case i am checking her uh, Convergence and definitely in alternate swing uh, there is weak uh, convergence or absent. Now her father told me I have eight children and three of them have deviated eyes like her uh, including her and another complaint was that they become totally blind at night. Now I got alert after hearing that complaint and then why then when I observed her skin color it was quite fair as compared to her father's and you can also look at the pinkish red reflex. I asked for any recurrent infections and bleeding tendencies but were not present. Her hair color was not black. It was dark brown. The parents told that the normal children they had black hair. But all the fair children with squint have got brown hair. Then when I performed the fundus examination it confirmed she had a cutaneous albinism along with alternate exotropia and you can clearly appreciate um, uh, uh, her high myopia she was uh, becoming uh, 636 uh, in both eyes with minus 6 diatosphere sphere uh, correction now here you can see the fundus examination and how severe fundal changes are. You can see the chorioretinal atrophy, the pinkish fundus. Because I thought of retinitis pigmentosa but that's not retinitis pigmentosa. But even when there is severe retinal chorioretinal atrophy, that's also the reason for a night blindness. Now strange thing in this case was uh, that led, led me to delayed uh, diagnosis of albinism was there was no nystagmus. You can see her high myopia, alternate exotropia, no nystagmus, variable pigmentation of hair, skin and eyes. Uh, and another important point was that all affected children were females. So it was also not an X-linked disease. Uh, most probably it is autosomal recessive males were normal now i have told the patients to bring all the children uh, so that we can evaluate them in detail uh, maybe we can get uh, some milder disease in uh, male children as well parents uh, are phenotypically normal uh, now you can clearly appreciate macular hypoplasia viewing this video if viewers uh, can fit these patients into some syndrome please write uh, your diagnosis in comments uh, it will be highly appreciated thank you